Jesus, Lord, at thy from the car, man. I'm not vlogging from the car. I'm home. Yeah, I was all to the side today. I took the way for the work. Yeah, she's getting operated tomorrow. On her wrist, she got that carpal tunnel thing. And, uh, so we were out ordering some furniture because she wants a new, uh, kitchen table. So we got that, you know, good price. And then we were fixing around the house and, uh, I don't know, you haven't seen the house in a while, so I just want to show you, we put these things up. I don't think you can really see them. Let me back up here. We put my swords and stuff up. Oh, house swords. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so this is the living room. You know, it's working out ever since uh, we got this thing fixed. You know, the floors, the floors done and everything. Uh, it's, we started working, uh, everything's looking real good now. The apartment looks really nice, she's happy. Now it's about to get the Christmas tree. And, uh, so now, this is the kitchen. So, this is our kitchen set. We bought this, uh, it was a cheap set, man. This is a chair that's falling apart, we, you know, she hates this set. So we got a nice wooden set, nice sturdy wooden set. It's gonna hold me, it's gonna hold, uh, I'm heavy, man. It's gonna be, uh, pretty hot. And that's it, I'm basically home. And, uh, I'm gonna make something to eat right now. Uh, I got a good parking so I don't have to go shopping till later. The wife's gonna work late tonight because, uh, she's gonna be out for the next two weeks from work because of the carpal tunnel operation that she's gonna have. And that'll be tomorrow. So anyway, I'll get back to you later. Hey, you better learn how to read your, and write your numbers. Or else you're going to be a bozo. You know what a bozo is? Who's your favorite clown? <laughs> okay, I'm going to read you this joke. Because the way I said it didn't come out the, the way it's, it sounds. Anyway, it says, according to the news report, a certain private school in Washington recently faced with a big problem, a unique problem. A number of 12-year-old girls were beginning to use lipstick and would put it on in the bathroom. This was fine. But after they put the lipstick on, they would press the lips against the mirror leaving dozens of lip prints. Every night, the maintenance man would remove them, and the next day the girls would put, put them back on. You know, it's a problem. Finally, the principal decided to do something about it. She called the girls into the bathroom, and they all met in the bathroom with the maintenance man. She explained to these, uh, girls that the lip prints were causing a big major problem for the custodian who had to clean the mirror every night. <clears throat> to demonstrate how difficult it was to clean the mirrors, she asked the maintenance man to show the girls how much effort was required to clean the mirror. So he took out his long-handled squeegee, dipped it in the toilet, and clean the mirror with it. Since then, there hasn't been no limp prints on the mirror. I wonder why. <laughs> hey, guess what? I'm in Alaska. <laughs> Look at all the pine vines. Uh, I bought all those trees there for everybody. I just put them there, let them have them free. 
I spare no expense, <laughs> especially during the Christmas season. Okay, later. And it's been a few days since you've seen me. And, uh, well, a bunch of shit happened. Uh, I wasn't feeling well. I was under the weather. I was very sick. I had to take um, antibiotics. I'm still not feeling well, man. What the fuck is going on, man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know if it's the weather. The weather outside is exciting. I don't know what the hell. You know, the weather outside is so good. Right now, in my car, it's 65 degrees. That the pollen keeps jumping. I'm, a, I'm allergic to either pollen or tree sap. I don't know, you know. Something sap. And, um... I'm allergic to, uh, flowers, something, anyway, so, uh, the pollen keeps, or something, the, the allergies keep ticking, man, I can't understand, man, I'm dying here, dying here with this, with this, uh, with this, um, allergies, man, I can't even think, yeah, so, um, my brother's still, he's dripping, it's like if he did a couple of lines of something, blow or something, me too, I'm dripping, you know, and, uh, uh, just, I've been miserable, miserable, I can't get myself, my shit together, and then, then, my wife on top of it had an operation this week, you know, she needed a operation on her wrist, carpal tunnel, that's the one, and then the next time she's gonna have a carpal tunnel on the, ne the other hand, and that's, uh, she's home for two weeks, and that throws my game off totally, because, uh, my wife, you don't know, she has that OCD shit. And it's like, you know, she gets up and, and you tell her, don't do that, honey. I, she's stubborn, man. She'll cut potatoes. And she's not supposed to be doing all this shit, cleaning the house. And I tell her, stop, I'll help you. But she knows I've been having back pain. I can't even stand, man. And that's why I haven't been to the store. I can't even get to the fucking store. The store's right there and I'm hesitating because uh, my back is out, man. It's like... Oh, man, don't get old, man. Kill yourself before you do. Uh, so I'm very depressed, man. Anybody have any idea of relief uh, for back pain? Please jot it down there and leave me a comment, man. Because it seems like my sciatic nerve is just like my legs are weak. I feel like I'm gonna need a wheelchair soon, you know. And plus, my weight don't help. I'm a fat fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to eat, man. I gotta stop that shit, man. Oh, man. You don't know how much I tried. I used to look so healthy and so good in my younger years. When you get old, you become a fat fuck. Kill yourself before you do. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna go to the store, buy some shit that we need, because we got nothing at home, man. My wife is over at a friend's house. And, uh, so that gives me a little bit of relief. I know she's okay. And uh, so I'm gonna head to the store and then I'll uh, head home and we'll talk later. So I was thinking, you know, like uh, Christmas is coming in less than two weeks. And uh, yeah, we went out and bought a Christmas tree already. We went out today. Home Depot got them real cheap, man. I got eight foot tree, 40 bucks. Go check it out. Home Depot's. Uh, nice, nice tree. I'll show it to you on uh, Monday or something. Another day. And we finally got our dining room set. A uh, little work there because table kept ch came chipped I had to uh, complain they bought me another table and then today we had to go back to the store because one of the seats was cracked around the wood they tightened too much because they kept wobbling you know wobbling wobbling <laughs> anyway yeah that's it man that's all I got for you today 
you know, Joe had a little bit, you know, it's Christmas time, man, we're busy shopping, we're doing things, you know, I was very proud of myself, I went out and busted my ass, brought home that eight foot tree, my wife was very happy, you know what they say, happy wife, happy life, remember that, all right, and, uh, you know, that's it, all right, guys, so, uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Christmas is up there. You know, don't forget me. Send me some presents. I need some. I'm only took out all your presents. Just uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. You know, for the next few weeks. Uh, if you don't see us around, we're kind of like busy, but we'll get to you. We appreciate your support. And uh, that's it. All right, y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Until next time. Ciao for now.